You're giving the bad guys everything they need to stalk you or burglarize your house. The I-Team discovered a vulnerability hidden in every photo you take. Nine on your side, Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe is keeping you safe tonight. Brendan? Carolyn Clyde, a digital picture is worth much more than a thousand words because with every click of your camera or smartphone, you're unwittingly recording a treasure trove of information. Powerful tools for investigators and criminals alike. You are being tracked everywhere you go. Times, dates, places, people, all recorded and uploaded to remote servers. It's not a government satellite. It's a tracking device attached to your hip, your camera phone. They took basically everything that we had posted pictures of. They were burglars caught on camera helping themselves to flat screen TVs and laptops in the Indiana home of Carrie and Kurt Pendleton. You see him go through my purse. You see them um, take the two laptops that are on the kitchen table. The thieves shopped online first, picking the items they would steal from photos the couple had snapped inside their home. I had pulled up pictures that I posted on Facebook with the laptops with the plasma in the background, um, with our rack that we had of electronics in our basement, and that's what they went for. Every time you snap a photo, you're capturing more than just something or someone. You're also recording an extraordinary amount of data hidden inside the photo itself. This would include the date, the exact time the photo was taken, the camera model and serial number, even latitude and longitude where, what, who, and when. For every photo you take, day after day, year after year, everything someone would need to track your every move, all downloaded to your phone or uploaded to the internet. You could have a person that begins to stalk an individual based on that information. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is seeing more and more cases where victims were targeted using EXIF data hidden in their own photos. And there are EXIF tools out there that will allow you to extract that, um, that information. And it's not hard to come by for someone to do that just by a click of a button. So even though it's invisible to most users, it's very easy to get to. Yes. Installing a free EXIF mapping app on my own phone, the otherwise hidden photo data shows my every move with my family. When I took my kids to lunch on Beachmont Avenue last Sunday at 12.15, shopped for groceries on the 5th, minutes before bringing my son to the movies in Milford. When I flew from CVG to Atlanta on October 18th, met my friend Chris in Concourse E, and where we stayed at our friend Mike's house in Georgia for two nights. It would be extremely useful for a criminal to be able to sit down and figure out not only who you are, where you are, but the best time when they would be able to uh, do whatever they had in mind. A photo I snapped at BCI pinpointed our exact location inside the investigator's headquarters. If you put a picture online, run it through an application like that, which is absolutely free, and be able to tell exactly where you were and when you were there. The I-Team found photos posted by U.S. soldiers, like this one showing a forward operating base in Afghanistan. We can map the precise location of the military outpost because the GPS coordinates were embedded in the photo's EXIF data. As simple as right-clicking and locate spot on map, but BCI has harnessed this weapon to fight crime. A suspect's camera phone can be more damning than a fingerprint or DNA. It's that big of a game changer, yes. A student anonymously posted a photo of pipe bombs with a warning they would be detonated on the anniversary of 9-11 at Pflugerville High School in Texas. Other online users examined the hidden EXIF data revealing the owner of the camera. A SWAT team arrested the student before the school day began. And computer security expert John McAfee was betrayed by the EXIF data in this photo while on the run from homicide detectives in Belize. Instead of hiding out in the jungle as he claimed, the map showed he was hanging out by a resort swimming pool. If we're ever on vacation or out of town, I wait until I get home to post the pictures. It doesn't make it as much fun, but you know, it's for our safety. While the Pendletons were targeted because of photos they posted online, the thieves didn't exploit any hidden data. The couple intentionally shared their location on Facebook, posting they were going out for the evening. One of the burglars was Carrie's Facebook friend, an old classmate from high school. 
This data is so dangerous in the wrong hands. We're going to Steve Raleigh in just a moment. This data is so dangerous in the wrong hands that Facebook, Craigslist, and Twitter now strip the EXIF data information from all uploaded photos. But the latest version of Apple's mobile operating system, iOS 7, it now organizes photos by the location where they were taken. If someone got your phone, they'd have all that info in the palm of their hand. So go right now to WCPO.com's mobile app or WCPO.com for tips and tricks to protect yourself. Steve Raleigh now has your first warning weather. Steve.